in the case of multi-level selection, we're returning now, in a way, uh, to a, uh, a system of genetic change that's much more palpable and measurable, both at a group level and an individual level. And there already is a very strong and well-developed field of population genetics mm -hmm. prepared to deal with gene frequencies that change as you have different advantages given to uh, group versus group and individual versus individual. Uh, I think that, uh, I, uh, that we'll see a, a whole new mathematical theory of multi-level selection develop that's more realistic because there'll be a lot of biology behind it, which shows us uh, the states, the, these unstable states. And this is one of the most profound aspects of this, if it is correct, and I think it is correct, that we are permanently unstable. We're permanently conflicted. And we just, it's, we, we, we don't have any ideal society or arrangement to, to move toward. What we have is a muting, self-understanding and a muting of the conflicts that come irrationally out of that instability and lack of understanding of what altruism is, where it comes from, why we are the way we do, why we worry all the time, why we gossip all the time, and all that. We need to understand ourselves not as errant primates uh, that just haven't found its way to an ideal social mm -hmm. condition. Uh, quite the contrary, we're always going to be this way, and we just somehow got to do it through self-understanding and through conflict resolution and mechanism for more cooperation and tolerance. 